All right, my nigga. So, nigga, did you see that video with uh little Meech at the airport, bro? When he got caught with the gun. Damn. Yeah, I seen that shit. He looked goofy as hell, boy. Bro, I was wondering what was wrong with bro. Like, what the fuck was going on? Like, boy I turned square real quick. Yeah, this nigga act like. I don't know, bro. Like, he, he threw his brother under the bus. Then he threw the security under the bus. And it's like, bro, at a certain point, you know you a star. Kick back. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, why are you even moving stupid like that? You should have, you know what I'm saying, security holding the gun. You shouldn't even have to hold the gun. He put it in my bag. Like, why would he have to even put it in your bag? But, man, that's neither here nor there. But that show is getting to his head for sure. Like, big ass chains thinking he's fucking... <laughs> Thinking it is his pops and shit. For real, thinking he is and pops and shit. And just getting the wrong image of him. He's looking doped out at the same time, so I don't know if he looks tired or off that shit or what, but. Yeah, because I seen Brad, bro. He, he looked kind of, you know what I'm saying, kind of on something, you feel me? And then. Nah, for sure. And then they, shirts and shit. <laughs> and then to get the snitching, though, you feel me? Like, bro, keep your mouth closed, bro. You a star, just kick back. Hold on, wait a minute. You feel me? Let's let's see how this shit play out. You feel me? Right. Sit back in that corner. You know it ain't your game. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? And then he said, man, can I call my mom? You Damn, feel me? And it's like, bro. Cherry on top. Can I call my mom? That's how you know you ain't built for this shit. Bro, it's like you on camera, bro. You making yourself look silly. You know this shit gonna come out. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't got millions of views all over the internet, man. You know what I'm saying? And I, I look at this Looking shit. Looking like I say, a clown. Yeah, he said, man, I'm a good kid. I went to private school. And I if, bet if, you did. And if that's the case, bro, that's the case. Ain't, ain't no disrespect. But I will say this, man. Don't be giving off this gangster-ass image. You know what I'm saying? Because I seen him at parties, right. bro, sitting in corners talking. Music videos and yeah, shit. Yeah, acting like he big gangster, selling this and doing that, bro. Like, come on, don't do that shit, bro. You need to learn from your dad's situation, you man. You feel me? You'll if be that, in that can quicker than, you know what I'm saying? And if that ain't really you, that ain't really you, bro. Kick the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Don't don't do that, man. I, I I'd hate to see that little young brother in some shit that he ain't even ready for, especially for the way sure. he was talking on that camera. You feel me? And shit. plus, all them acting coaches they didn't teach you how to be a real street nigga. See what I mean? Yeah. You only yeah. know so much, so you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you better kick back, but keep reading them books. Hell yeah, get that money, man. You know, get what I'm saying? that money. That show's doing numbers, so just sit back and collect the. You know what I'm saying, reap the benefits. Hell yeah, get that motherfucking money. That's all that really matter, man. None of this other shit don't even matter. But I will say this, man. This shit crazy just like that QCP situation, man. Snituation. Facts. You know, now when I look at it, I say, damn, Q. You know what I'm saying? I really looked up to this nigga, man. He had For all these real, artists. Man. Shake my head. You know what I'm saying? This nigga had a little baby, the Migos, motherfucking Pop all these. Dog. Come on, bro. So I was like, man, when I looked at the paperwork, I was like, man. Is there any way to justify this shit? And I couldn't find no way, bro. It, it was hard. Because I'm like, <clears throat> I had a close homie. You know what I'm saying? Vic, you had a close homie. LJ, you feel me? They both passed away. For sure. Rest we, in probably, peace. we probably could have gave the police some information that probably could have helped solve their cases, allegedly. But nigga, I'm we gonna ain't going to do nothing. I'm going to tell you something I don't know. Yeah, but we don't know nothing. You feel me? So what the fuck kind of shit is... This shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, why the fuck would you run your mouth, bro? You're supposed to let the police department do what they do, you know? I don't think you should be out here trying to uh, solve the police job, you know what I mean? At a certain point, they are here to uh, protect and serve, man, and they get they get uh, paid to investigate. For sure. You know, and when I looked at that paperwork, man, it said basically, you know, they was in the house selling weed, and a dude came in there and robbed them and killed, it, killed his homie. I want to know what you think about that, man. I don't know. Like you said, that's a real thin line. Like when your dad, your dad, homie's involved in shit. Like it depends. You don't like you said. You shouldn't have to say shit, really. Nah, you don't defame your own character, correct? Nah, shit. Because what's gonna happen is gonna happen. Like, that's that's just what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure you, you know. The you, longer you keep your mouth shut, the less. You know what I mean? The less problems. Yeah, and sure. a lot of motherfuckers, uh, you know, it ain't about snitching. It ain't about nothing. It's just about a lot of the times, you know, your career over once you snitch, like in these streets. Niggas want to be the man so much, they snitching on themselves nowadays. And that shit's just out, like, out of there. Like, what the hell is wrong with Yeah, that? so, I mean, QCP. All the hottest niggas getting wrapped up. QCP, man. I mean, I done been in a lot of situations where, uh, you know, motherfuckers didn't ask me for information, man. And, uh... You know, I just had to keep my mouth closed, you know what I'm saying? But I always uh, bring up my niggas because, um, you know, what's going to be done after. Bro, imagine <coughs> being a little kid and my mom got busted for um, selling drugs and shit. And they just trying to question me like that. 
For real. Some young ass 10 year old kid. Hey, but I will say, I will say this though, man. Ain't no snitching. You know what I'm saying? What's going to happen after a motherfucker do what they do to your homies is what's going to happen. You know what I mean? But you don't need to be out here snitching. Nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just my thoughts, man. But but like you said, nowadays they're making snitching look good. Like, look at T.I. and all these people. They're like 6'9 and <laughs> shit, whatever. T.I. Well, allegedly, but damn, far as I can see. I feel like T.I. be, uh, you know, woofing, making up stories and shit, like trying to make yourself big. You know what I'm saying? I don't even feel like that should be the truth half the time. You know what I'm saying? But the more know. they run their mouth is the more they tarnish their name. Just like nah, facts. six and nine and all that shit. Nah, that's that's sad, man. These motherfuckers don't know which way to go, man. Nah, for sure. And that's why there's a lot of hip hop informants going around. It's getting like a trend. Like everybody wants to be hip hop informants. Like Pros from Fuji's, they were saying he's a uh, informant for ten years and shit. That shit crazy. Yeah, Proz, and he was living a good life, man. He was shitting on niggas. I seen him on MTV Cribs. I was like, how are you still on MTV Cribs? You only made that one song with Lauryn Hill and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was getting money. and uh, One time. I mean, it, it don't matter, man. I mean, it, if he was getting money, that shit was cool. But uh, there was no reason really to tell. Like, you, 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 you was in a good situation, man. You reaped the benefits of what you was doing, man. So you should For just sure. take the time. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no reason. Ain't no reason for you to be running your mouth. Though. Yeah, he's trying to bring Fifty down and Meek Mill down for defamation of character. When you did that shit to yourself, like you know what you was doing when you got into. And that you know what I don't shit. like? I don't like. I don't like the fact like with this QCP situation, because like if if that was your friend, right, and you was trapping with him, and someone killed your friend. That's what I'm saying. In, in our religion, it's an eye for an eye, right? Facts. So I feel like you shouldn't tell nobody nothing. You should just go get go get get back for your friend. Because it's an eye for an eye. You know, yeah, so but Karma's a bitch and then she always gonna come around. Karma so. is a bitch because when the dude got out of prison, uh, I think he got killed in 2019 anyway, so he gone anyways. You Period. know what I'm saying? Period. 